It's a bit of a minefield out there trying to decide which TP-Link Deco mesh system to get. So I'm going to give you a very quick comparison specification wise between the X20 and the X60. And I'm also going to show you the M5 as well, which is a cheaper option. And then you can make your mind up. It'll help you a bit. Let's do this quickly. Right, folks. So here is a really simple um, table I've put together. Um, bear with me as I quickly talk through this. So you can see there the M5 at the bottom there is effectively the bottom of the specs. X20 is next up and then the top of the range in this instance is the X60. You can see on the wireless speed there's an increase as you work your way up. So the 5 gigahertz are your newer devices, your 2.4 are probably your older devices and the system will decide which is the best to use. Okay, So you pay more, you get in a faster system the more you go up. The Wi-Fi type is quite important here. The um, X20, the X60 are on Wi-Fi type 6. The M5 is on Wi-Fi type 5. What's the difference? After studying the net, doing a bit of research, apparently Wi-Fi type 6 is about four times as fast as Wi-Fi type 5. But of course, it all depends on the device you've got in your household. So most people, Wi-Fi type 5 is going to be more than sufficient. But if you want to be future proof, the Wi-Fi 6 are the better options. Both of these, are, in fact, all of them have got two times um, two gigabit Ethernet ports. This is quite important because actually the Wi-Fi speed on the top two is faster than that. How can that be? If you're limited by the weakest, the slowest um, denominator, if you like, which is um, the one one gigabit, you've only got one gigabit, two of the ports, but the one gigabit. Well, actually, the wireless speed when it's running will only deliver about half of the um, of the numbers shown on the wireless speed there. So they um, the X60 will be about 1.2, the X20 will be about 600 megabits per second. So again, if you want to be more future proof, the X60 is perhaps the way to go. But I know that my service provider provide 40 megabits per second and the M5 system is more than fast enough for me. Finally, range, you can see there, not finally, actually range, you can see there the ranges. So the bigger house you've got, the better as you work your way up through. But then you've got the cost to consider. So the M5, of course, is the cheapest option here, working as well up to £380 at today's prices for the X60. Of course, what you can do is you can add new nodes to your system, which is something you might want to consider. So, for example, you could buy yourself an M5 system for £150 and then later on install an X20 as your primary node. Buying a single one of those would probably cost you around about £80. So you can jump in at the lower end and you can upgrade your system without having to throw it all away. Just a thought. Hopefully that's given you something to think about. Do your research, folks. But I'll tell you one thing. These systems are good. Better than range extenders by a country mile. Catch you guys on the next Wi-Fi Shmi-Fi. Flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>